the Devils third line normally taking it to their opposition and setting the tone for the evening, but here we go. As he comes to the goal, John Pelly. Oh! And there we have straight away a penalty for the Cardiff Devils. Coventry plays. Soderstrom's going to go into the box for that one. And John Pelly there just showing why he is a record breaking scorer for the Devils in the Elite League era. That puck was loose in the crease. He digged in, he digged one way, he digged the other, and uh, it was a good pad save by Jaeger, but it was loose there for a minute. We should have chased that one up, Al. And Jared Adams talking about how he feels if the Devils keep three players behind the puck all, all times when they're defending, they're going to be extremely difficult to break down throughout this season. And you just see it there with the work of the forwards coming on the back chain. We've got a penalty on the play. Sadly, it's a high stick, but sadly, again, right down in front of us here. <laughs> Bringing so much to this second unit, Kenton Smith, one of the highest scoring defensemen in this league, on the Devils' second unit, with Phil Hill taking it forward. And that's going to be a, a call a penalty. against yeah, Chambers Greg is, Chambers. Uh, Keep this pressure up. A hugely confident team. They won't be deterred by a few missed chances. What a move from Mark, Mark Richardson, Richardson there, who's skating so well tonight for the Devils. Shoots it in. Yeah, the guy. And another shot. Good club. Oh! And that's going to be a penalty there. Yeah. Well, and that's just a bit of tiredness, perhaps, from the blaze there. Matt. Are we going to see things escalate here? Craig Weller straight to the defence of John Pelle. As was Max Beerbrier. That's good to see. He was straight in there. That was a completely unnecessary check from behind. You know, the play was over. The, play, the player has, doesn't expect that. You know, everybody's slowed down. Everybody's played the whistle. You don't expect to be hit from behind. And you do wonder, with some of the chances we've had, whether it is going to be a scrappy goal tonight for either team, which breaks the deadlock here tonight. A lot of defensive play going on. The shot comes in, and Jaeger didn't see a lot of it. But and there's a penalty on the play this time. Now we're seeing a blaze power play is going to come here with Max Beerbrier taking the penalty there. And I think that's going to be an interference call on Max Beerbrier. Kenton Smith working very hard. What a job from Kenton Smith. As Ryan Finity with the breakout. And he's set, denied again by Brett Jaeger with a huge save for the Blaze. That was an outstanding save. It's got the, the light is on. Goal. The light's on. The referee has signaled the goal. And they're a little unsure if this is being given. Dean Smith looks like no, he's he's called for the face off, is he? Because I think there, the crowd think this is a goal. The Devils think this is a goal. The Blaze are not happy. But I think Dean Smith there may be a judging. He's definitely calling for the face off. He may be a judging that the puck, he could not see the puck under Brett Yeager's pad being made to work very hard. But they are doing the business for the most part at the moment. And they're doing a good job in front of Brett Yeager. But John Pelly does a good do job of getting it deep again. And they'll go off for a change. Well, John Pelly will. As Bert Bryce starts, he gets the puck out to Matska. And. A Fantastic play from Greg Chambers defensively there. He got a stick on it. Lyle's gone to the bench. The arm is up. We will get a power play once again. And it is a hooking call this time on the power play. And it. Robert and Farmer, I believe. Does look like Robert Farmer coming to the block. With, with Tyler Michelle, who's going to look to skate that in, is he? He is, but it's a turnover. Oh, that could be too many men on the Devils. Devils I think we've got it's away. a two on one opportunity for the Blaze. It's Fulgham. It's Carlson. It's Fulgham. It's Carlson. It's a goal! for the blaze and you kind of got a sense that that might have been coming some good play some good shots but yet again no goals for the devils and but they still skated in ryan finity with a puck now brad off out front and how is this puck not going in it does now hey! but it's no goal he waved it off again it's another goal that has been waved off by referee dean smith the devils have put that puck in the blaze net twice this evening and this one has been waved off again here we go. But it's a three-on-two opportunity, and that pass is, pack is fired across the devil's net. And really, you feel there's a penalty on the play now, and it's going to be a holding call. Yeah, he's called Selmser. Selmser has been called there, and now Jaeger <laughs> looks like a man <laughs> who would... Well, I think uh, he just looks like a man who is just absolutely gutted about that call there. I mean, using his uh, weight advantage, perhaps. But there's going to be a play behind the net from Max Bebrise. Out front to Weller. Shoots a block from Greg Owen. The Coventry Blaze centre man, two-way centre man, doing a great job on the penalty kill for the Blaze again. As the pass is across. That's the goal! There it is. It's Max Bebrise. The play was fired across the net. A wonderful goal for the Devils. And exactly, at last, just the right time. Yeah, Max Bebrise puts it in. Jaeger couldn't get across to that one. He's gone high. It was very similar to Carlson's earlier goal. 
I think the assist will go to Matska, who's played it across the front. So Jason Robinson, who makes that shot, and Lyle had to come up with a save there. I don't think he saw a lot of it and had to move late there. The Devils will look to get this out of the zone. As they get a 2 on one opportunity, it's a goal! It is. Ross Venus. It's a very good goal. The, the plays have showed a tremendous attitude in how they've, uh, how they've responded to that goal. And you know what? They deserve it. We, uh, we were very slack there. That's a great goal, goal from Ross Venus. He's producing an awful lot of points at the moment. Nobody to pass to there, though. And a good stick from Greg Chambers once again doing the defensive work. And we've got a two-on-one opportunity for Greg Chambers, fans on the puck, and it allows Kenton Smith to come back and make a great play. And now we've got three-on-three three the other way. Finity, game for Phil Hill with a shot. Yeah! It's in! Phil Hill! I know what they'll be saying Fuck to. They'll be saying, Phil Hill is my hero. He's knocked that one on. Good work from Finity. I thought the pass Finity threw on the last rush was a little bit sort of, uh, you know, it, looked, it was always going to be intercepted. But that time it was spot on with Phil Hill showing a great finish. Face off in the blaze zone. Back to Jared Adams. But the blaze just get that one out. We've got a two on one opportunity here. Brad Krugshank and Ross Venus. Krugshank, he's looking like scoring here and he does. What a move from Brad Krugshank. And yet again, the Devils are going to have to come behind if they want to win this game. And once again, it was an odd man rush against the Devils, something we've seen so rarely over recent weeks. Finity working hard on that face off. Wins it for the Devils there. Matska down low. Is it Finity? No. <laughs> Scott Matska, my apologies. The big line out for the Devils. Looking to spark something here. Bill Breyer with the puck. Back to Matska. Woo! That one looked like it was in and it flew over the net as Matska gets cleaned up in front of the goal there. And Pelle's going to go to work now. And the Blaze don't here like it. They do not like that play from John Pelle going fishing for the puck down low in amongst Brett Yeager's John pad. John Pelle is furious. John Pelly is on, oh, he's being sent to the bench. And I think this is very harsh. Very, very, it, Dean Smith has indicated it's for a slash. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt there. I certainly didn't see a slash, but Dean Smith is insistent. The Devils working hard. Mark Richardson putting pressure on that blue line there, and Scott Matsker as well. And now we've we got go, an opportunity. Go. Oh, that's a, an hook. Opportunity that's a hook. That's a hook. He's got two guys on him. That's a hook as well. And he has been hooked back. There's going to be a penalty against the Blaze here. Yeah. And Ross Venus recovers the puck. And the Devils will be pleased with that outcome. It was four on four, four, five on four, killing a penalty, but back to four on four. That's right. Dean Smith missed the first one. Um, you know, the Blaze player defending definitely got his stick up on the hand. With Kenton Smith around the black. He's going to watch he doesn't get puck dispossessed there, but now he skates forward. Great skating from Kenton Smith, who takes the puck forward. And he's going round the back of the net, fires oh. in front. Phil Hill scores! Hey. There it is! It's Phil Hill again for the Devils with a huge goal right at the right time. Right place, right time. Phil Hill pinpoint shooting from the Welshman. Yeah, you know, a lot of new hockey fans here tonight being... being you know, given a treat, a real competitive elite league match between two teams who do not want to give an inch. Oh, Here we go! Oh! Max Burbreyer scores the goal for the Devils. Maxi! What, a ch what an opportunity. Scott Matzka with a play. Burbreyer, Johnny on the spot, picks up his second goal of the night. And is that finally going to be the goal that breaks this incredibly resilient Blaze team? You would think after that fourth goal, the first time the Devils have been up tonight, they would have stopped, but they're not here. They come again from Farmer with a shot. Quick release from Farmer and Lyle had to be shot there, but they're looking for the set to pass through. And it's oh. Burbrier one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. And there's, we could be looking at a penalty shot here, yeah. folks. He's, the arm is up, the arm is up. And, and it is a penalty shot. Burbrier, Max Burbrier, with the chance for the hat-trick here tonight. And that was... A tired play from the Blaze. It was a necessary play from Brad Zanon, no doubt about that. But they did, you have to feel, we were looking at that play develop, and it did look fairly obvious what was going to happen. And you can only suggest maybe that it's those legs giving away that meant Zanon had to make that play. Do you know what? Everyone stood, obviously, when the breakaway happened, so I didn't quite see it, but I thought Zanon had actually got the stick. But, you know, you're always at the risk of giving a penalty away there. Here we go. This place is electric. So am I. Brett Yeager, the Blazers' best player tonight, with Max Burbreyer, two hot goals for the Devils. Here he goes, he's skating in. Max Burbreyer goes low, and Yeager makes that save. 
Max Berbriar going for the five hole here. And you can see why he might have done that, because Jaeger tonight yep. has had to make so many saves, he's clearly out on his feet. But if there's one player, and here he comes again, Greg Chambers, who you don't want to get give time in that offensive zone, regardless of the kind of season he had, is Greg Chambers. Brad Voth finishing the hit there, but the Blaze still have it, and they've come back here. These legs are still going for the Blaze. Out front, and is there a call on that play? There's no call. Oh, what a block. A astonishing block. And it's in, it's in. He's they have it. scored. Astonishing block from the Devils, from Mark Smith, but the Blaze have found a way through. And you did feel, every time the Blaze get in the offensive zone, you feel a lot more likely than when the Devils are there that a goal is going to come. Yeah. He's got to make a sensible play back there, though, and he is being hassled by Ross Venus. A skillful player, Ross Venus, but he has skated his heart out tonight. But here comes Ubriya. Oh. A bad play from Robinson. He falls oh. over his stick. A penalty Another on the play. Could a penalty be? on the play. Jason Robinson fell over there, and then perhaps out of tiredness and frustration, slashed Bear Briar's stick. And you have to feel there, but Briar probably wasn't in on a clear cut scoring chance. What a stick from Brad Zanon in that slot area, blocking that play. Masker's stick is broken. He's furious. His stick broke at really the wrong time there. He's gone off for another one. No, he's been replaced. Here come the Devils. Oh, well, oh. affinity there. Oh, dear. Here goes. Here we go. Here we go. Dan Carlson, Stevie Lyle. Nope. Stevie it's no goal. It. He saved it. That is outstanding work from Stevie Lyle. He's had a shaky day, you know, but he stood up when it counted. That was, um, I, I don't think you can blame the D-man. He went for the pinch. Here come the Devils again with Bird Bryant, the kind of player who loves this 4-3 four four, four situation. He loves 4-4, four four, but he loves it. Back door. Yeah! Here's the goal. Yeah! Right infinity. Yeah! Everyone's gone. Yeah! Ryan Infinity, backdoor, this Devils team is unstoppable. They faced their toughest challenge tonight that we've seen in a long time. Tougher, I would say, than that away win in Nottingham. Oh. And somehow, they've found a way to take the streak on.